What's up, guys? We back at it again. We're gonna finish that episode that we did. But uh, if you, here we go. I would like for y'all to subscribe, leave a comment, and push the notification bell. I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. I guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're going to make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done. You need to know something, so why not help each other? I gotta make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Well, look, Lester, about what happened before. Well, I know you never mentioned my name. You know, I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. Well, since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an iFind alert. That little college boy sack of shit phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. Uh, I heard him say that he saved America. What, by outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. What the hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white-collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag, and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism. And brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something. Just like the old days. <laughs> oh, that's what you do. I thought even that looked like it was smoking shot.
You ain't gonna need it. something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Hmm? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? in your bag. They're just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you look the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, you know, it's... Yeah, well, you, know, you gotta do what you gotta do. You know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. 
Well, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> My union allocated smoke bricks bad up, so... But wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I, I detemp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. I'm totally becoming a tech evangelist when the big boys best. Maybe not even tech. I'll evangelize in anything. Hi. Oh, hi. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. <laughs> Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. Ah, oh, you've been at it on this PC. Ah, uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Click an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. I'll close the pop-ups. See what I can do. Your son codes? Start them early, bro. You write your best stuff in your dreams. After that, it's just a hack job. Wow. Your job is actually kind of stressful too, ain't it? We'll get there eventually. This place is fueled by Java, bro. <laughs> Almost cracked it. Might I tempt you with some organic channel or a fair trade java? Bear with me, all right? Rocking out might get you in the right head space. These hacker kids always come up with a new way to screw the network in the ass. You want a massage? Cause my hands are free. <laughs> See, I don't hear the manual on me. My glitch fixing is gonna be way down today. <laughs> My son probably broke this. Oh, shit bag. There you go. How about I run the antivirus software? Ugh, I need to write some product, Rohim. I'm feeling the itch. Give me a second, will you? And we scan. Scanning. You want to take a break for some air guitar? Give it a week, bro. Hmm. Might be why I get all these migraines. Seriously, it, it might be why. They got to send me on another one of those seminars. And that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they
No, I'm watching Fame or Shame. Oh, fuck your tits. in front of the world. Find out tonight on Fame or Shame, the finals. Now, please welcome your host, Les. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage. Hey. This company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Carroll. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years, that's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Really well. Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. the Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, it? computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24-7. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked in at home, and at the same time, you're docking with some kids at the public pool. Dock, 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 dock. We went to the guys at Food Computers and we told them we wanted to make our hardware as compatible as possible. But you know what? They're not interested in sharing their technology. So we went and made it compatible anyway. Now you can dock your life invader to an iFood phone or any other device. And it'll take all the data off it and reformat it into life invader friendly information. At around this point in my presentation, there was meant to be a call to my product team to introduce the device. But we're experiencing some technical difficulties. I hate to keep you waiting any longer, but trust me, it's worth it. And don't worry, I will fire several people for this. Hey, Phil! The talent show America deserves fame or shame. The winner gets one million dollars and tours around the country before disappearing back to bitter obscurity. The finals continue with Shemail Bob. You guys are going to the finals. Mimes on fire. Woo! What a talent! I have never seen someone set fire to their prize before. The most racist guy in America. You all disgust me. America loves you. You are in the finals. Recorded live from the Vinewood Bowl. Who will win it all? Who will humiliate themselves in front of the world? Find out tonight on Fame or Shame, the finals. Now, please welcome your host, Laszlo. Yeah! Oh, 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 no, he did. It's great to be back. Thank you. Fame or shame? Completely original television. Something you've never seen before. We've got desperados performing. We've got has-beens judging them. We've got an anodyne heterosexual holding everything together. We are down to the top acts. It's the finals! Yeah! And here
here are our favorite shade judges. Let's introduce, you love him, I love him, ladies and gentlemen, Hugh Harrison! Woo! So, uh, who are you calling a has been? Um, Hugh, I'd save the venom for the axe. They're not even out yet. You're a stylist. What's he dressed you at? What do they call his look? The morgue chic. <laughs> Gay Rock. That is. Two gays, one cut. <laughs> Look at you. Boy, come on, you. Ladies and gentlemen, Anita Mendoza. Ah. Is that guy a brave? Guy? Or gay? Ah. so deep in the closet, his friends call him Mothball. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Listen, why are you so fascinated with my sexuality? Are you even really British? Of course. I'm from uh, Stafford, Sherberg on uh, Sea, right? <laughs> okay, right. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Imran Shinoa! Imran, you're, you're awfully quiet. Like, normally by now you're throwing refreshing sponsor beverages at me. I've been meditating, Laszlo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, God, I didn't know what I do. You're putting America to sleep. In my silence, a what? great god came to me and asked me a question. Why does the metrosexual one dress like such a dog? <laughs> hey, hey, I'm not the one who cares about his performance tonight, all right? I've already won. It's fame or shame. We're all friends here. Friends who slightly loathe each other and say nasty things during contract negotiations. And yes, before you ask, this is a face brand watch. Face, official chronograph of fame or shame. Fantastic, Laszlo. That reminds me, I'm just going to have a junk energy drink. Junk, the official energy drink of fame or shame. Really? I wanted a nice can of refreshing Sprunk. Sprunk, the official soft drink of fame or shame. I mentioned that I bank with Lisa. So I've started paying for everything. Felisa, the official credit card of fame or shame. Excellent. I love it. Subtle organic sponsor tie-ins. Nice. Unlike your hair, you annoying poof. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you! You heard too much. It's a combination of the accent and the incredibly witty line. Oh yes, well, the British, overweight, rainy rednecks who are always trying to sound smart. All right, let's get down to it. Enough of this nonsense. Tonight, in association with Long Bank, here are some of Hugh's greatest moments from the season, just to fill some time. You are absolutely awful. Almost as bad as last one. Fat. Like having my book. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage. This company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Carroll. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. All right, guy. An average age of only 